What up, people? How are y'all today? I, uh, so, uh, headed back to work. Get me another 12 hours. This job just runs me in the ground. So, it's the hours, it's not the job itself, and it's the heat. But that's all right. I wanted to ask you a question. How do you deal and what do you, and what do you fear? A lot of people fear birds, spiders, the number 13. They fear heights, clowns. There's a million things that people can be afraid of that's an actual medical condition. I guess my biggest fear would be idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. It has killed my mother. It has killed my older brother. And my middle brother has it. And uh, my aunt, my mother's sister, has had a lung transplant where she had it. So there's a good chance that I may have it or come down with it. It's a brutal disease that eats you up, scars your tissues, your lungs to the smallest degree, and doesn't allow you to pass air like you should. So that's my fear. How I deal with that fear, I'm still learning because it's one of them things that you really can't, I really can't explain how watching somebody cough themselves to death. Every time you talk to them on the phone, they're coughing. And that's basically what happened to my brother. They've come a long way, though. The drugs they have for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or IPF for short, is, uh, is a lot, lot better now. There's been two that they passed in 2014 for, uh, for treatment. Of IPF. Here's the other thing. My mother didn't have that option because it wasn't approved in 2000. My older brother died two years ago, but nobody would go far enough. The VA wouldn't go far enough to 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 go ahead and biopsy him. Having this in our family, they just blew it off as always something else. Excuse me. <laughs> I say that to say this. I've had every test done except a biopsy, which is the only clear way to 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 have it diagnosed. But my thing is this: I have insurance now that I can go a, a, outside the VA route. I feel they blew my brother off and my sister-in-law was still fighting it under principle now that he had it. And he had it before he went to Iraq. And when he came, he, he didn't have it before he went to Iraq. And when he came back, he had it. So it was triggered by something in Iraq. But my biggest fear is not having it diagnosed in time. Like my middle, the, my middle brother, who, who I call him middle brother because he's the one between me and my older brother is uh, he's on one of the medications and it has he's on disability but it has drastically improved his life he's not even on oxygen and my mother was on oxygen by the two year mark and so I know it helps but it's ultimately a terminal disease that will eventually kill you but the drugs have helped a lot. Now, a few things with IPF you have to know. One of them is uh, is uh, heat. Heat, hot weather, is the enemy. It exacerbates your lungs. It's hard to pull hot air in and breathe properly. Now, why am I telling you this? Well. This job that I work at is uh, is hot and going to get hotter. It's 77 degrees now. It's probably 85 in this plant when I get in there. The hotter it gets, will expose more and more whether or not 
because I'm at the right age if it's going to show that whether or not I have IPA or whether it started in me. And I say that because that's what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of having this disease and having a time clock on my life. And that's no bullshit. So, and the only thing I can do to help, one of the main thing is walk. But the problem is my energy level is sinking. And I'm getting sleep. I'm getting good sleep, I think. But I'm still having issues. So that's one of the things that scares me because all that's related. So that's what I'm scared of. And uh, hopefully it doesn't come to pass that I have IPF. I'm not claiming it. I'm just telling you what I'm afraid of. What are you afraid of in your fight of day-to-day -day life? Being afraid is not an issue. How you handle the fear is. So hit the like, subscribe, bell for notifications, and uh, I'll talk to you later.